In this video, I will show you how to connect your ESP32 or any Arduino board to a DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor. Now, these are sometimes referred to as the AM2302 sensor. Let's start with the wiring. My sensor comes on a little PCB with three pins, three volt input, ground, and a data pin. Connecting it to your board is really simple. Give it three volts of power, connect ground to ground, and connect the data pin to one of the GPIO pins on your board. I choose pin number five on my ESP32. Now, if your DHT22 sensor isn't attached to a PCB, you'll have four pins instead of three. In that case, you can ignore the third pin and connect power, data, and ground in this way. Now, once the hardware is connected, it's time for the software. Here, I have an empty platform IO project and I'll start by installing a library to interface with the sensor. I don't want to write all of that code myself and I don't have to. So I will go to platform IO and I will click on libraries and I'll search for DHT. Now, the first one is called DHT sensor library and that's exactly what I've been looking for. So I will add it to my dependencies. I will go to my files, click on platformio.ini, and I will create a section called libdebs, and I will add the DHT sensor library as a dependency for my project. Now let's go into the main.cpp file and write some code. I'll start by importing the DHT library. So I'll say include dht.h. Then I will create an instance of it and I call it my underscore sensor. Now the DHT library expects two parameters, the pin to which the sensor is connected and then the type of sensor. I've connected mine to pin number five and I'm using a DHT 22. Next, I will use the setup function to initialize the serial and the DHT sensor. So I will say serial.begin 9600 and to initialize the sensor I will say my underscore sensor dot begin. Now we're ready to start measuring temperature and humidity. At the top of this file I will define two variables to store our measurements. So I'll say float temperature and float humidity. Then inside the loop function, I want to take a measurement every two seconds and print it out to the serial monitor. So I will set humidity equal to my sensor dot read humidity. And I will do the same for temperature. I will say temperature equals my sensor dot read temperature. Once we have our measurements, we can print them out to the serial. So I'll say serial dot print. I will say temperature. Now we're going to print our temperature. I will also print the unit. Then we will print the humidity. And we'll print the unit of that as well. Finally, I will add a delay of two seconds at the end of the loop function so that there is some time between the measurements. And that's actually an important side note. This sensor is prone to heating up if you take too many measurements in a small time period. So definitely leave a couple of seconds between each measurement to prevent them from being skewed. And that's it, you can now flash this to your board. Now, in case you run into issues with the imports, you might want to add these two. You might want to include wire.h and spi.h. Now, this is a bug in the platform IO library manager or in the DHD library. But anyhow, if you add these two imports, everything will work. So let's flash this to our board and see if it works. And sure enough, there are our measurements. It says it's 22 and a half degrees in here and the humidity is about 33%. Thanks for watching and check out the rest of the series if you want to learn more about Arduino and the ESP32.